Hello, guys. Hope you have a good session of lunch, I guess. Uh, <laughs> in our country, after uh, having lunch, uh, we have uh, a tendency to uh, feel sleepy. We call it bad gum. Uh, hope it's not uh, impacting you guys over here. Uh, as you are not uh, having rice uh, in the lunch, I guess. Uh, however, um, I'm Tasawf Bakibilla, uh, mostly known as Ribbon. Uh, either Tasawf or Ribbon, uh, any, anything you can choose. Uh, I'm from Bangladesh, uh, presenting uh, OSM Bangladesh community uh, over here. Uh, we, I have been working with uh, OpenStreetMap Bangladesh community for a while now, for I guess uh, three or four years or so. Um, in this period of time, I, uh, I have been uh, able to see my uh, community uh, grown up as one of the most vibrant community in the uh, global arena of OSM. Uh, I have met a uh, lot of uh, great people like you guys over there also. Uh, some people who have been uh, contributing in the OSM arena for a lot of time. Um, I will be mostly presenting uh, today about what uh, the community over here in Bangladesh is doing uh, for the last one year or so. Uh, probably you, got, you guys have, uh, if you guys have gone through the uh, databases uh, of uh, OSM in Bangladesh arena, uh, you, you have been seeing a lot of things going on, a lot of uh, projects uh, are uh, booming over there, and a uh, lot of people involving uh, at the same time. Uh, though in Bangladesh, uh, OpenStreetMap has been introduced in uh, back in 2011 uh, with uh, uh, the uh, Bangladesh University of Engineering Technology uh, students involved in it. And afterwards, uh, we have seen uh, some uh, aid agencies uh, and donor groups like World Bank, uh, Red Cross, and other uh, major aid agencies uh, helping uh, the growth of OSM in Bangladesh uh, during the time. Uh, we have a, uh, I would say, a boom in uh, OpenStreetMap uh, volunteerism and enthusiasm in Bangladesh uh, during the time uh, back in 2015, where uh, when Missing Maps piloted a project over there. Uh, I see Eureka is here. Uh, Eureka and uh, Pete Masters was there, and that time uh, we have seen a uh, lot of educational institutes and other uh, people uh, getting involved with the community and uh, doing a lot in the uh, making. But I, I will uh, rather focus on uh, last one year's uh, 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 OSM activities in Bangladesh. Uh, I, I would say it's an impressive uh, activity going on over there uh, during the period uh, in early uh, 2017, uh, uh, I would say, uh, a group of active volunteers. Uh, what happened, uh, we have seen a group of active volunteers uh, thinking about something like uh, bringing on the change, what's happening out there uh, with OSM uh, in Bangladesh and in the subcontinent arena also. Uh, we were lacking structured community coordination, I would say. Uh, and as you all know, OSM is a diverse community. Uh, people from diverse background coming into it and uh, blending uh, up for a common cause. But what we have seen that uh, because of lacking uh, of uh, proper coordination, uh, the guys over there uh, who are getting involved as volunteers didn't sustain. Uh, we have seen a lot of new people getting engaged with every project and every initiatives, not having the old uh, people uh, contributing, uh, continu uh, continuously contributing. We, we, are, we were lacking the consistency over there. 
So uh, to have that consistency, uh, we thought about something uh, to build up a coordination for the community. And uh, the mechanism uh, will bring out the best from the diverse community we have over there. And at the same time, we will uh, support in a way, more organized way, uh, and collaborate with the other organizations. Uh, Humanitarian OpenStreetMap has, uh, team has been working uh, a lot in those regions with the aid agencies and uh, other agencies over there. Uh, also, we have seen a lot of or, uh, commercial organizations are also uh, trying to put their efforts with OSM over there. So we try to bring all those things together in a single platform, channel it to the single platform, where community can involve in a big way, and it might sustain uh, the community environment in a uh, bigger picture. So we, uh, we were planning out something, and then we came up with something out of it uh, that we were calling uh, Bhut, uh, Bangladesh Humanitarian OpenStreetMap Operational Team. Uh, Bhut over there, Bhut, uh, in Bengali, Bhut represents the ghosts. Uh, we thought we will be the ghosts of the uh, OSM over there. You, you cannot see it over there. Uh, you cannot see uh, the presence of some sort of entity is there, but you can feel it when you see something is happening. Uh, this was the main, uh, uh, I would say, the main uh, thoughts behind the naming also. Uh, we came up with the name. And from that period of time, th this was an unofficial entity. And that period of time, uh, when we uh, thought that we will be the background people, we will not be the poster boys of the community. Uh, we will not focus on just uh, bringing our uh, faces uh, up to the cameras and uh, showing ourselves up whenever any events or something is happening out there. So uh, the uh, guys over there decided to work uh, better uh, in a way. And so at the very initial stage, they have uh, somewhat uh, been able to communicate and uh, collaborate with one of the uh, largest uh, and fastest growing startups in Bangladesh. That's, uh, we call it Patao. Uh, that is a major ride hailing company over there uh, that has been uh, uh, started up back in uh, 2016. So that time, they wanted to work with uh, OpenStreetMap uh, with route and navigation stuffs. So uh, there's, uh, the main uh, theme for their uh, works were moving Bangladesh. Uh, so that was not only a ride sharing company, they also have deliveries and food delivery things coming up with the, uh, their uh, project. And the whole project needs needed uh, route and navigation services, proper route and navigation services. And in OSM, when uh, we have been able to uh, communicate and uh, sort of advocate OSM to the uh, part of uh, the governing body of uh, the company, and then they decided to support OSM uh, in a way to sustain, uh, bring sustainability in the community. The cause we are uh, thinking about and uh, moving forward with uh, that part. And uh, within this period, uh, we've uh, given the chance. Last uh, in the last session uh, panel discussion, I was talking about how. Uh, sustainability can be achieved with uh, different part of the uh, different types of organizations getting involved in it. Not only the aid agencies, not only the government bodies, but also the commercial entities should be uh, engaged in the total process because this brings some sort of opportunity for the uh, 
student base who are the main volunteers or, or the main powers of the uh, OSM community almost throughout the world. So uh, to bring on that, uh, we started to uh, build up the community, uh, bring on the community people to a single platform. Uh, as we are talking about the boots, uh, we started working on uh, in a motto to initially to have Dhaka city been back, mapped in a proper way with the uh, highways and all the features within itself. But afterwards, uh, we focused on the, all the uh, major cities of the country. And uh, where Pathao decided to operate, uh, oper uh, continue their operations on Dhaka, Chittagong, Silet, and some other part of the country, uh, in that region, in those regions, uh, we have been able to uh, uh, trace up almost 1.6 million buildings and uh, more than 10,000 kilometers of roads uh, from the satellite imagery. And afterwards, we built up a uh, field mapping team over there who, who uh, collected almost 130,000 POIs and building level information from the road. and. Uh, almost 300,000 uh, street level imageries from the streets. And all those things will go to OpenStreetMap uh, after going through the QCs and other processes. So this has been done within a year, last, uh, from last June to now. And why we are considering to put it in uh, the OpenStreetMap so that other companies other users who has been working with uh, some sort of uh, navigation and uh, other things will be uh, interested to work with OpenStreetMap more. And we have that result. More and more companies were interested and in showing their interest to work with us over there uh, and uh, build up teams for uh, themselves to uh, how to use those data sets that has been developed over there. Uh, at that time, as uh, Pathao has given us the opportunity to uh, build up the team uh, and nurture the community over there, we uh, started a project named Map Your City. Uh, during this period of time, we, Map Your City was uh, initially uh, formed to uh, with a motto to map up all the major cities in the country and uh, engage all the volunteers in, in the city level in every, each and every city. So uh, we had a uh, total 18 tasks uh, created over there in 18 cities, city areas. And uh, we have traced down 2.9 million buildings, 63.2 kilometers of roads, uh, and uh, more than 10,000 waterways in the process. And that covers up almost more than 10,000 uh, square kilometers of area covered within this period of time. That's one year time I'm talking about. And with that project, we uh, also worked with other, uh, some other projects uh, that has been uh, implemented afterwards. Uh, in the period of time, I'm, I'm just showing you some stats. It might be uh, uh, seem boring a bit, but just before we have initiated these uh, particular initiatives, the total numbers of buildings, you can see how, how much buildings have been drawn this period of time within Bangladesh. That's five, more than 5 million buildings, hundreds, more than 100,000 uh, highways, and uh, almost uh, 22,000 waterways. What happened out there, this mammoth amount of task have, uh, before May 2017, it, Bangladesh data set was only 22 megabytes, when now it is turned into 160 megabytes. It has been a huge amount of task what have been done over there, who uh, are being working with the uh, data uh, part of the uh, OpenStreetMap. You might have known the, how, how hard it is to reach this pile of, uh, just bring this pile of data over there. 
So these were the historical uh, data sets and you can see in the seven years, last seven years, we were managed to add up only, uh, that is uh, 540,000 buildings over there where it raised almost 10 times in a year. So all these things are making the difference. Why I'm showing this up? that this might be an opportunity for the other uh, communities throughout the globe who ha are being uh, just a uh, victim of not being able to sustain the volunteers over there. They can also try out these things, I guess. Uh, with the uh, things, there has been other projects that, uh, that has uh, been coordinated uh, throughout this time period. Last year, we have a uh, major floods affecting the whole South, East, uh, South Asia, and Bangladesh is one of, one of the uh, country who, uh, what has been impacted much. Uh, hot humanitarian open street map uh, team straight away activate, uh, declared activation over there, and that time, 25 tasks handled by Bhut that covers up 1.2 million buildings and 44,000 kilometers of highways and covered 15,125 square kilometers of areas. Same time, uh, we have more and more other projects being implemented over there. Uh, there is some statistics out there. Map, it, Map Your City is a project that I have been uh, talked about, South Asian flood. And at the same time, uh, last year, Rohingya refugee crisis where, uh, when uh, came up, uh, we help them out, and that period of time, uh, there are some major amount of buildings and roads are there. At the same period of time, uh, we have been working with uh, Bangladesh Water Development Board to help them out with uh, improving the coastal communities and uh, polder areas over there. Uh, I, I guess one of one of the projects was uh, with. Uh, uh, a research project of Oxford University, uh, backed by World Bank, and afterwards it, it became Bangladesh Water Development Board's uh, own project. And uh, a couple of hours back, uh, Godwin and uh, Evangelist are here. Warwick uh, University has been working uh, with a project in the slum, uh, improving the health facilities in the slum areas. We have helped them out with uh, some works over there too. So all these projects being implemented and at the same time what we have done, we have created our own projects. We didn't uh, really rely on aid agencies or other organizations just jumping in with the projects and uh, giving us uh, some sort of work to do. Rather we, have, we are constantly creating some projects where we are thinking of um, uh, bringing the inter, uh, the community uh, guys who are encouraged, who are being encouraged to engage with OSM staffs over there. So uh, we are constantly working on uh, creating different projects for ourselves. So uh, one of the uh, thing we will be doing in next uh, year and continue with that, that's Map Your City project that we are being working out with. Uh, one of the projects we are thinking uh, already got prototype designed, uh, clean city and smart city project to have more environmental cleanliness uh, bringing onto the city areas in our countries. Uh, and another project we have, we have already uh, uh, pushed it to MIT Solve uh, Challenge, that's Project Lighthouse. So mapping the coastal areas and uh, having a uh, application being developed as reporting mechanism for the uh, coastal areas of the country. So that in, in term, times of uh, disasters and uh, other, other uh, hazards, people, community people can engage with uh, reporting through the maps. And all these projects are based on OpenStreetMap. So what happened? Uh, as we are, we are thinking about more and more uh, projects and innovations going on to engage and encourage people to get engaged with the uh, community, we are seeing 
this as our challenge, because we need more and more external ideas coming in to give us some sort of ideas how we can work forward as we are part of the global community over here. We, we always think, as uh, I was also mentioning in the uh, other panel discussion too, we need to transform into we rather than I. Why we need to be we? Because if we think about ourselves as a global community, we should get ourselves uh, bringing on ideas how to help ourselves out. So we need those external ideas coming in with the internal ideas blending. And uh, all those uh, efforts are efforts are going in uh, to uh, make the R&D cost effective and minimize the innovation risk over there. And all goes to the existing, uh, we have to find out the new marketplaces where we can push those things up, our ideas and things, to bring on some sort of sustainability to the community itself. Uh, that was the thing I, w I was uh, really uh, wanted to discuss and uh, share the ideas to you guys. Uh, always welcome your ideas, any sort of ideas. You can, you can uh, contact with us, get along with us to give us the idea. And overall, thank you guys to give me a chance to uh, talk about those, all those things about what we are uh, talking about overall uh, from OSM Bangladesh Foundation and also from the Boyle team over, over here. Thank you. OK. Uh, question time. Uh, does anyone have a question? Impressive numbers. Uh, so can you elaborate more on how this delivery company helped you actually? How does that translate into adding the, the buildings and the roads into the map? Um, what happened out there, uh, as I mentioned, that uh, the company uh, asked from us how uh, they can integrate OpenStreetMap to their uh, uh, navigation and route thing. At the same time, what they offered us that we can work on OSM developing on OSM uh, development and uh, creating the base map for the country and uh, also nurturing the community over there. They have given us the facility where we can use their internet uh, facilities and uh, some device stuffs also. Uh, that was one thing that community was deprived of and feeling that uh, they are not being able to contribute that much in a way. In, in the process. Uh, as I was mentioning, most of the cases, uh, whenever an organization is uh, working uh, with the communities, they focus on their own projects, not on the overall development of the OpenStreetMap thing uh, in the region or in, in the country. Uh, where this particular group has helped us with, they've given us the freedom that you can do anything to improve OSM over there. Only thing we are asking from you that you help us out with the route and navigation thing. How we can uh, uh, bring more uh, uh, better customer experience to the uh, consumer uh, we are working with. That so, was the thing. And a quick question. So are they using routing based on OSM? Uh, uh, routes based on OSM, not right now. Uh, they are uh, figuring out uh, the routing uh, uh, routing mechanism over there. Uh, they are thinking about uh, using OSRM uh, on their backend routing system. Uh, that's why they need the proper uh, data over there. Okay, no more questions. Thank you. Thank you.